Hey, I'm Kalano and this is Kalano RC. Today I'm going to show you guys how to lock your diff. Okay, so first you're going to need to open up your car. Um, for me, I have to open up this side of my TLO on LA. Basically, it's the same for most cars. My gearbox is up in the front. My rear's already locked up. But my front isn't. Um, I'm not going to completely lock it up, but I'll show you guys how to do it. My problem is one wheel will stop spinning, and the other one's like completely free. And it's hard to... it, it spins out easy now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the front one up a little bit. Or at least slow it down. Higher capacity battery is a little big. So it's hard to get out. Okay, so I'll try to do this quickly. Um, if not... I so I'm gonna try to explain why you'd want to lock your diff. Basically, your differential allows you, both your wheels to spin at different rates for going around corners and stuff. But since you're drifting, you're not exactly turning as much as you're sliding. So you don't really want the turning characteristic. And you want to keep your wheels uniform so you get a consistent drift. And your car is consistently doing the same thing. Um, I've heard this isn't as much of a problem with counter steer drifting, but I really have no idea. I haven't really drifted counter steer at all, so don't quote me on that. But for 50-50 drifting, which is where both the front and the back wheels are geared the same and they spin at the same rate, it's good to have a locked rear diff. So right now, I'm just doing what I need to do to open up the gearbox. So there we've opened up the gearbox. You'll see there's two this gear here. I'll take this off. Takes the power from the uh, drive shaft off this, puts it into uh, there, right? That gear then powers this gear, which then goes into the differential. Now, how can you differentiate the differential from the other stuff? Is it'll be a bit bigger. Um, your axles will go directly into this, and you'll probably have screws here on one side. On my case here, and someone's texting me, but whatever. Um, so this bit. Um, it's, it's your differential. So what you want to do is you're going to open it up and you're going to block the gears inside from moving around so then it's locked. So I will get a smaller bit because that is really small. Uh, nice. You guys want to make sure you use the proper sized ends for each of your like screws because you don't want to strip these so you're just going to open these up you can push on this metal bit here this will pop up a little bit and there you go there's your differential so basically does this spins like this inside this casing right and as this spins it allows the two wheels to move independently of each other and what you want to do is you want to lock these gears from moving around so we'll pull one side off here and we'll put this back in the way it was uh, 
And there's lots of ways you can do this. And really, I should clean this out. If you wanted to use glue or something, and if this, if this is pre-greased, you're going to clean the grease off and glue it because it won't stick to grease. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use paper. So, you get a little bit of paper, you ball it up, and you put it in there. And you just keep on doing this to uh, fill it up a bit. I put it in each bit here. Now some people have ball differential, ball bearing differentials, and I have no idea how those work. I've never opened them up, so I don't know what to say about you guys. But for me, with this gear differential, just put stuff in like that, and it's locked. Um, you could put more in. You could put less in. I don't know. I don't, I want it to move eventually because it is my front differential I'm doing here. The front and the rear differential will be the same in most cases, and they all pretty much look like this that I've took apart. So that's how you lock up your rear differential, then you put this back in here. Each of these poles goes into these slots to keep the pins from moving up and these holes will also line up with these holes like if it doesn't screw in then you've done it wrong and t just open it up and put it back so there's that you put these in So then you put this back in here, you make sure there's bearings for all of this, it all fits in, and you close up your um, gearbox, however yours does it. This really applies for any um, RC car with a gear shaft. So as you can see, the front is locked, the back is locked, and that is how you lock your differentials. I'm Cullen, this is Cullen RC, and you've just been learned.